All right, hello, physics students. This is uh, Mr. Parker, and we are live here with Period 5 yeah. Honors Physics. All right, so we're doing another screencast, and this one's going to be just a quick review of the electric power sheet. So everyone looking along with me, we have number one, the uh, power when it, voltage of 120 volts drives a 2 amp through a device. How much power is that? Power is equal to V times R. Our voltage is 120 volts, current 2 amps, giving us a power of 240 watts. Number two, we take the same equation, but we're solving it for I. So we divide both sides by V, giving us I is equal to power divided by voltage. So that's 60 watts divided by 120 volts, giving us 0.5 amps. How much current, number three, does a 100 watt lamp draw when connected to a 120 volt source? Same equation, same process. Come on now, period five. We've got to be quiet. We've got to be quiet. There should, no, should be no talking. Remember, there was complete silence for period three. All right, so um, number three, it's the same process. Number four, same kind of process. Take the power equation, P equals V times R. Divide both sides by I. We get 6 watts divided by 3 amps, 2 volts is our answer. 2 volts is our answer for number 4. All right, number 5. This is where it gets a little tricky. Those ones hopefully were fairly easy for you. But for this next section, we are... All right, so for this part, period five is extremely excited. They're like, they've been anxious to get to this part. They're so excited that they are just going to give this scream and shout. <laughs> yes, and now you see what I'm dealing with. Now you see what I'm dealing with. Okay. Number five. Number five. Energy converted. If we take this equation, multiply both sides by time. Energy converted can be think of as power multiplied by time. This is a kilowatt hour. This is what the electric company charges you or charges your parents for. They charge you so many pennies, so many cents per kilowatt hour. So if we, if uh, this question is trying to get to the heart of that, the difference between a kilowatt and a kilowatt hour, a kilowatt is a measure of power. It's energy per unit time. So this is the energy you use per unit time. A kilowatt hour, on the other hand, is that power multiplied by time. What cancels out? What unit cancels out? The time. So a kilowatt hour is really how much energy you're using. And this is what the electric company charges you for. You use X amount of energy. They charge you so many pennies for the amount of energy you use. So we go to this example, number seven. Um, you leave a porch light on 24-7, and it's asking how much money does it cost you to run this in a month's time. So being the good physics student I am, I list out my variables, because I don't really know how to proceed through this. I know power is 60 watts. I also notice that there's a kilowatt in here, so I converted that watts into kilowatts, 0 0.06 kilowatts. Voltage is 120 volts. And then it gives us this cost, 8 cents per kilowatt hour. Anytime you see the word per, that's a rate. So it's 8 cents, 8 pennies per every kilowatt hour. So the rate is equal to 8 cents per kilowatt hour. Now I need to create a situation where, in essence, I'm canceling out the units. So if I have 8 cents per kilowatt hour, I'm looking for the cost, but I need to get rid of the kilowatt in the hour to just have pure cost. So I'm multiplying this rate times the total kilowatts and by the total hours. So I've actually written it out in equation form here. The cost is going to be rate, which is cents per kilowatt hour. Power, which is in kilowatts. And then time, which is in hours, if I cancel out these units, I'm left with just cents. You all following? You see what's going on here? 
So rate times power times time will give us the cost it, run, it, it is to operate that light bulb. So we need to convert one month into hours. So 30 days is one month, 24 hours is one day. 1 times 30 times 24 gives us some 720 hours. So if we actually put this into the equation, we have 8 cents per kilowatt hour multiplied by 0 0.06 kilowatts multiplied by 720 hours. Could somebody put that into a calculator for me and tell me what we get? Eight cents times 0 0.06 times 720 gives us drum roll. Eight what is it? Three dollars forty-six cents. All right. So when you plug that into your calculator, you probably got 346. That's in pennies or cents. So. To keep a 60 watt light bulb on 24 7 costs you about three and a half dollars per month. All right, so now I'm going to hand over side two to uh, Andrea, and she is going to explain. Hi, guys. So um, I just want to give a shout out to my friends in period three. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so. I'm doing the first problem on the back, and the question is, calculate the resistance and the current of a 60-watt light bulb plugged into a U.S. household outlet, which is 120 volts. So I set it up as VFW. With V, we have 60 watts, and then we also have 120 volts, and we need to find resistance and current. So I picked two formulas that we can use. We can use P equals IV, which is power equals current times voltage, to, so we can find our current there. Then we can use current equals voltage over resistance to find our resistance. So plugging all the work in, 60 watts equals the current times 120 volts. So if you divide the 60 by 120, you would get 0.5 amps, which is the answer for the current. And then for resistance, I plugged in the 0.5 for I, which equals 120 over resistance. And then once you divide 120 by 0.5, you get 240 ohms for your resistance. Excellent. All right, thank you. Woohoo! So that's number you guys one, are great. perfectly done. And for number two, uh, we got Justin, who's going to explain number two to us. Yo, yo. So, this one's a lot more simpler than the first one. So, looking at the problem, we have six, 62 milliamps and 9 volts. And we need to find the power in watts. So we use the equation watts is equal to amps times voltage. But first, we're going to quickly convert milliamps to amps. And we just do that by dividing by 1,000. Then we just multiply amps and volts together, and we get the answer in watts, 0.558 watts. All right, perfectly done. Thank you very much. All right, just a, uh, uh, a heads up on that one. For some reason, Justin decided to write his equation using units. Typically, we write the equation using the variables. P is equal to, uh, what was it again? I, I times V. If we write that in terms of the units, it's watts, this is amps, and that's volts. Uh, so typically, this is how we'll write the, um, the formula. But the, uh, the solution was perfectly done. So thank you very much. Um, for this last one, for number three and four, uh, let's say, should we do that one? All right, so we have just a few seconds left, or actually we have five minutes left. Um, but let's try to make this an even ten. Instead of TV, I've moved up in the world, and it's now a projector. And it uses a power of 300 watts. What's the voltage of a typical outlet? Anyone? 120. Anyone? 120 volts. 
And the question is, what is the resistance? How in the world do we figure that one out? Because power is equal to I times V. There's no R in here. So what do we do? And we have no I. Remember that V is equal to I times R. If we solve this equation for I, I is equal to V over R. And I can substitute this into that equation. So power is equal to, instead of I times V, it's V divided by R times V, which is V squared over R. Now I have the equation with the unit or with the variables that I want. All I have to do is solve it for R. So basically, if I multiply both sides by R, divide both sides by P, R is equal to V squared over P. If I plug the numbers in, 120 squared divided by 300 gives us 48. And what are the units? Everyone, period five, showing your enthusiasm. What are the units for resistance? Ohms. Oh, ohms. Yeah, okay. What is the current? Thank you, Mike. <laughs> when is it in, uh, or when it's in operation, what's the current? Current is equal to V over R. We know the voltage, 120 volts over 48 ohms. So 120 divided by 48 gives us 2.5 amps. All right, and that is it, uh, period five. Showing your great enthusiasm, because, you know, they were really hurt about what I said before in the other video where period five wasn't quite as enthusiastic as three, and they're like, they've been dying for a chance to show you guys up. So here's your chance. And count of three, one, two, three. Woo! All right, all right, yeah, see, totally exciting in period five. I know you're all jealous now. All right, take care. Have a good uh, holiday break, and we'll see you Monday.